And when you are walking with the Lord, taking steps of faith, you're going to see success, but that success will come with allies and enemies. And there will be opposition that comes your way, but God will deliver you out of each one. It's all deceit. You will encounter this. But David overcame. <laughs> David didn't come up with some clever way to get around this. David was just too good for the trap. He was strong in the Lord. And this is the thing that God will give us to overcome this kind of thing. It's that inner strength. You will find that there is strength within you that you did not know before. And the thing that you thought, there's no way anybody could survive this, you will get into those situations. And not only will you survive, you will thrive. And you will succeed. And it will become a mark of, of, uh, to your credit as opposed to bringing you down. When God's got people that are put in situations that are intended to make them fail... God says, I'm never going to give you anything that is beyond your ability to bear. Now, sometimes, we'll talk about this in a, in a minute, God gives you a miraculous way to overcome, but sometimes God just looks at you and says, you got this. You ever have a really good football coach, baseball, whatever? And like, coach, I can't do anymore. He goes, yes, you can. I can't do anymore. Yes, you can. Keep going. Like, Why does he keep doing this? He hates me. No, he doesn't hate you. He knows there's more in you. And that is part of what the Lord likes to do with his people. Is he says, I want to show you that you are stronger than you think you are. Because the devil has spent your whole life smacking you around and making you think you have nothing to contribute. And it's a lie. And I'm tired of you believing it. Charles Spurgeon said in, uh, in a conference that he gave to other pastors. He said, we are capable of far greater things. It is time for us to attempt them. I love that. Used to, <laughs> now he's speaking to preachers. And he's saying, some of you are upset at the state of your ministry and, and have legitimate reasons. Others of you don't try anything. You are capable of more and you need to go for it. Despair and lies are the tools of Satan. Satan loves to make you think you're no good and you can't do anything. And, and that's why you need to just keep your head down and not let anybody see you. He'll even take the doctrine of the depravity of man, that we can't save ourselves, and try to smear that over your whole life. That's why you can't do nothing good. Friend, if you've been regenerated, if you've been redeemed, you've been saved, you're filled with the Holy Spirit, the Lord's going to tell you, hey, you were never worthless. Those who trust in the Lord will overcome every obstacle. So my word for you today is sometimes you just need to take a shot. You just got to try a little harder. You got to keep going. The writer of the Hebrews told the people, you have need of endurance. They had everything they needed. They just needed to keep going. Charge the Philistines and don't let that fear get to you. 